Shut the fuck up, okay? Shut the fuck up. Uh oh. I'm back. Back from the grips of uh, COVID 19 and the perils of a, a busted microphone. I'm back. And what happens when I come back? Number one, I bump into the microphone like a moron. Number two, <laughs> about exactly a fucking week before the OLED switch is supposed to be out. This Switch Pro shit is back. <laughs> what What is going on here, man? What the fuck is going on? Like, this... At this point, I'm starting to think Nintendo just didn't release the fucking thing out of spite. Because they that petty. I fully believe they are that petty where they would just say, you know what, fuck it. Fuck the money. I'm gonna just we go leave this this thing that these people keep on swearing up and down that we made that we haven't confirmed yet on the shelf just because we can. Let's just put a new screen on it on the old one and, and toss it out there. That's what we're gonna do. But I mean, I, I don't why does this keep coming back? It's inevitable that they're gonna release another one. At this point in time, we just have to wait for it. Like, it's inevitable another Switch is coming out after the OLED. Like, why wouldn't it? They tried to redo the fucking Wii. Right? They did. With a gimmick that over time, nobody liked. Which is the motion controls. Like, people start hating on it. I never personally had a problem with it. But people start hating on it. They chunked all that into another system and added a tablet controller to it. So, of course, they're going to do another switch because people love the selling point of the switch. The hybrid shit is a home run. So another one, a better one is coming out. You just have to fucking wait. Like reading these and writing these articles it doesn't make the shit happen any faster. Like, um, and on top of that, they got mighty salty at Bloomberg t tonight. <laughs> they they tired of that motherfucker. They gonna send <laughs> they gonna send some Nintendo assassins to his house, and we ain't gonna never see another fucking article from Takashi. Uh, what's his name? Let me go. Let me go in. Oh, yeah, I do this. I do it on the fly. Holy shit! People in my house won't go to sleep. We're gonna never see another uh, another article from Mochizuki in our lives if he keeps this up. Like, of course, yeah, Takashi Mochizuki. I was right. Of course, if they release another one, I'ma buy it like the the, the uh, sheep that I am, I guess, because I bought the OLED one. But I can wait. Like, just fucking, I'm I'm tired of seeing the articles about it. When the OLED joint got announced, that was it for me. That was done. I was done with these articles when that got announced. Because nobody knows what the fuck they're talking about. Nobody. You throw enough darts at the wall, you might hit the bullseye every once in a while. So some people probably got it right. Uh, other people didn't get it right at all. I don't, I don't think anybody knows anything. I think that they put out fake information on purpose to... Just see where leaks are coming from. So it might be somebody feeding you complete hogwash because they think that they have a credible source. And Nintendo done fed, fed that so called credible source a, a load of shit. And just so they can find them and fire their ass. <laughs> so, oh yeah, we. That's the, that motherfucker over there who we told the 8K switch was coming out next week. And all of a sudden, everybody know about that now, even though it wasn't even true, you're fired. I mean, that's the kind of stuff I think happens. It's not my business to set uh, 
schedules and shit is not my business to care about when uh, a company is going to release it or how many copies is going to sell. It's my business to see it and like it and buy it or see it, not like it and not buy it. So I don't know where all, what use we're getting out of these stupid fucking articles. Like I'm tired of them. Shit, man, I might uh, I got my OLED switch coming and I got my Halo version of the Xbox Series X coming. I'm good on spending money on this shit for a while anyway. Like damn, so I'm good on thinking about spending money on consoles for a while. Like I'm broke now. I don't got no fucking more money. Like they they took <laughs> the video game industry. I, I'm not broke, but my video game console budget is broke. Like I'm not spending no more money on consoles for a good while. So I don't need to know when the the Switch 4K is coming out because I'm not finna. I'm not in the mind state to be buying it anyway. They say that the earliest it would come out is the holiday of 2022. I mean, I guess, but. Who, who even cares? Who even knows? Nintendo pushed a 3DS out for like seven or eight years. Who's to say they won't do the same thing with this? And yeah, they released that new 3DS, but... I mean, it, the, the upgrade with that was negligible at best. It, the, the CPU in it was just overclocked. And it had like a little bit more RAM. Okay, that's something that can already be done to the switch. The switch is underclocked. Like if you know anything about technology, you know that it's underclocked to save on battery life and to keep the power draw low. So it's not even running. The switch does a good enough job at what it does and it doesn't run at the full fledged potential of the X1. So I mean what what are we supposed to do here keep on consuming these articles of a product that we can't even buy anyway i mean if it's entertaining to you i guess but uh has passed that point for me like i said a few minutes ago when the oled announcement happened i was like you know what f this shit <laughs> i would just buy that one and if they come out with another one that's better, I'll trade that one in to get the next one. Like, that's what I'll do. Like, I'll keep my original Switch because it was a gift. So I, I won't trade in that one. But this OLED shit is fodder to me. Whenever the 4K or whatever the Pro or the Switch 2 come out, I will hand over this OLED shit to get one of those. Flat out. So, uh... I'm not really too bothered about it, like for real. I had to, I, I'm sorry I had to come back after two months or however long I've been absent with a, a big spot of indifference. And, and, and on that note, on the 4K note, well, I'm jumping all over the place. I haven't done this in a while, but on the 4K note, the damn playstation and xbox can still barely do it like the 10 and the 12 teraflops can still barely do it every time i watch something on digital foundry i'm hearing about some fucking reconstructed image with an internal resolution that's something else and to me that <laughs> i might not be the brightest bulb in the pack but that doesn't sound like 4k to me because I know one thing, the words native resolution is the only thing that means that this shit is true and real. If it's all bunch of other reconstructions and temporal and, and rebuilt images and double this and triple that buffer, and I don't know, that shit means that it's not, it's not really what it is. So are we expecting a, a, a portable system to even do this? The fucking Steam Deck, who who anybody who knows anything about 
technology knows that the stat, uh, what is it, the specs from the Steam Deck, Steam Roll, the switches, and that's not doing it's 4K. The the uh, resolution on that shit is like 1200 by 800 or something like that on the portable screen, and to when you dock it up to the TV. Uh, you lucky to run something in 1080p 60 frames per second with that and it's light years ahead of the switch when it comes to the specs shit got like uh, what is it it's like 8 or 16 gigs of ram in that fucking thing I don't remember the exact specs but I know it's, be it's better than the switch on every front like and it's not doing 4k either so DLSS is not 4K. It's another way to rebuild an image. It's super sampling. So, if what's supposed to be the, the top of the line technology in the console space can't do it, and what's supposed to be the upcoming top of the line technology in the portable console space also can't do it. Why are we so up hard and up tight for a Switch that can do it? To me, the Switch Pro, if they just put out a solid 1080 60 machine that I could uncork from a dock and have it go 720 60 in portable with like some medium settings type shit. That's a selling point for me. I pay $400 for that right now. Make it. I'll pay $400 for it. I know I just said I didn't want to buy a, a fucking console again right now because of all the other shit I just bought. But, you know, that's what I'm saying when I don't see the actual product. If I do see the actual product who, that can perform like that, I'll buy that. $399. Consider it sold. Uh, I mean, I don't give a fuck about 4K like that because it, it's just not, I mean, most shit doesn't even do it. I'm playing Tales of Arise right now. If you turn the 4K mode on, on the PS5, the shit chugs around <laughs> like a jalopy that's running out of gas. You have to turn the, 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 the fucking frame rate version on that doesn't run at 4k to get a smooth experience out of it and that's what i'd rather have so give me a 1080p 60 switch and i'll i'd rather buy that than something that's trying to struggle out some fake 4k but um another day another switch pro rumor and the fucking switch not pro hasn't even had a chance to release yet the fucking switch amateur that shit ain't even out yet like let that come out before you start talking this again mochizuki they gonna send they gonna send them them dudes to your house man i'm praying for your safety tonight man i'm out